Hey guys, I'm Mika, and today I'll be doing a theory and tag. So let's get the video started with. Alright, my theory and tag. Alright, number one is stereotypes. I have three stereotypes, maybe a fourth one. I don't know the fourth one yet, but my first is Mika, which is an Arctic wolf. Melody is my silver fox, and Malakin is my regular fox. Uh, my theory and gear, number two. I made this collar myself, and I've got my tail, which I don't have much theory and gear right now. I'm trying to get more in the future. My theory and friends. That's number three. Um, there's Ryder, Keaton, Ryken, and Lena. That's four of them. Alright. Number five is facts about your stereotypes. Alright. Um, Mika loves the snow, so whenever it's snowing outside, she'll go super crazy. She'll just want to go right outside and play in it. <laughs> no matter how cold it is, <laughs> even when I was at school and it was snowing, I would go into like a major shift and be like, I want to go outside and play in the snow. <laughs> Which in another video I'll tell you about my different experience ships. Um, Melody, which is my second stereotype, um, which is my silver fox, she is a little bit shy. Like she'll hardly talk to anybody. Like still to this day. With Ryder, she's fairly talking to them. Malakin, which is my third stereotype, she. It depends with her. Like, she was born on Friday the 13th, so everything that's creepy goes with her. Yeah. I don't know much about the fourth one yet. So when I do, I will make another video about my fourth stereotype. All right. Number six is first shift, favorite shift. Um, my first shift would have to be when I was. What we have is our baguette, and you put the tails on top, and you're done. Ten years old, I would have to say. Like, I knew for, like, a long time I was, like, different, but I didn't find out about Mika until, like, I was 10, maybe even younger, <laughs> and that was on my birthday. My favorite shift would have to be... When we're at Keaton's house, and we were like playing all together, and we were like playing with our dogs and chasing them around the yard. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, number seven. Favorite thing about it is being a Syrian. My favorite thing about being a Syrian is just expressing who I am. Uh, number eight, five facts about you. Um, the first fact is that me and my friend Ryder we treat us uh, like um, alpha sisters because 
choose the first one that really kind of believed in me and my stereotypes. Well, she is a Syrian too. Her whole family is one. <laughs> like, I never had many friends until I met Ryder, Keaton, and Ryken, and Lena. Okay. Facts about... Lena? Me and her were friends in middle school. Yeah. Uh, the second fact is... I love animals. I have two bearded dragons and a dog, which I'll show them off in another video. Well, I have one literally like right behind me, one of the bearded dragons. The other one is literally like over there. <laughs> um, number three. I love all things Japanese, Korean, anime. Um, the fourth thing is, I love the beach. I have an entire seashell collection. The fifth thing is, is that my parents don't even know that I'm a Syrian. <laughs> I have told my mom about Syrians. She doesn't get what that is. Okay. Has Syrian be changed your life? I would say yeah, because I have more friends now. And number 10 is my awakening story. So that happened in middle school. When I was like in the middle of class, and I think, like, I dozed off for a bit, and I woke up with, like, a phantom tail and phantom ears. See, I don't know much about awakening, but when that happened, it was, like, I accepted it. So, I was in middle school when I learned I was a Therian. Well, when I first met Mika. <laughs> yeah. If you guys have, like, want me to do, like, a better awakening story, just let me know down in the comments section below. But, who I'm going to tag next is my sister Ryder. PD and Lost Wolf. Alright guys, I hope to see your video soon. <laughs> Alright, bye guys.